All right, here with Kings Fork new head football coach Kermit Bugs. His team just concluded a preseason scrimmage in Virginia Beach against the Tallwood Lions. The Bulldogs in Class 4, the Lions in Class 6 as both aim to return to the postseason. And coach, you stepping back into the high school ranks now for the games taking place. What did you find out about your team tonight? Uh, the guys fight, fought hard. We haven't got a lot of work in. This was only our third day being able to be in pads because of the rain and the lightning situation. So I was real excited about it. We missed some tackles, but we did some good things. So the strength of this team is probably going to be the defense, and I was happy with how they played today. This is a young team. We got a lot of sophomores playing, a lot of plays for us. So I was happy how they competed, and we just go back to the drawing board and go from there. And one of the things that was really, uh, I guess, raised my eyes up, but that was good to see was when your guys came off, you encouraged the guys to first unit, to encourage the second unit, and vice versa. Just kind of building that camaraderie with them and chemistry. Yeah, it's got to be a family thing. It's so much negativity. You give up a bad play, all right, nobody needs to hear a negative comment when you come off. So get, get them back. Let's get them back in and honed in and zone in and let's get ready to go. So that's what we're trying to do, just trying to get these young men to understand and encourage each other. Many high school teams, whether it be here or other parts of the state, are having a battle for quarterback spot. Um, tell me what you saw from your QB position tonight. Uh, I think both kids did an excellent job. I was proud of both of them. Um, we got some things to work on, but, you know, they're going to keep going. Those two guys are? Cam Butler and Leonte Johnson. Leonte Johnson is our starter right now. Cam is our second team. Um, Cam is just a true freshman, you know, so, and Leonte is the senior, so, that you know, we're going to work it out, and hopefully, you know, we'll keep doing successful things. Well, you've been known to throw the football in your days in Syria. I tell you what, two guys physically stand out when you look out here tonight. Brayton Campbell's one of them, and then your left tackle, Devon Orr, he's another. Both guys, what did you find out from them as they're both two young guys with a lot of talent? Well, Devon's a senior. Senior, actually. yeah. Yep, you know, so he, he did a good job for us tonight. Bray Bray is a man. I mean, he's a, he's a Division One football player right now. Um, and what he could do for us, he's going to be a major part of our offense. Um, so we got to keep him going and let everything go right, rally around him. Uh, but he's he's a man. He's a real. You looking at both guys playing just one side of the ball, or could both save? Uh, we're going to both keep them on offense right okay. now. You know, we're going to try to two platoon as much as we can. Um, the reason why I like doing that is you keep more kids interested in your program. Mm -hmm. You know, you got guys going both ways. We can't make adjustments. We can't do things to get. But also kids lose interest because nobody, nobody else is playing. So we're going to develop every kid that's on our squad that they can give and support and then be able to uh, commit to uh, actually give us some more work sure. on, on our team. You had a couple of explosive moments through the air tonight. Your defense did rally well to the ball at times. What was kind of the biggest plus or surprise for you tonight that you kind of said, oh, I didn't see that coming? Uh, biggest thing, I, we tackled better than I thought we would, not only having pads on for two days. You know, I, I thought we would miss a lot more tackles than we did. We were mm -hmm. able to call some fumbles out here. Um, so I was proud of with that. So that was the biggest thing I was good to see. Mm -hmm. Last two for you. What's your right now area you got to clean up or concern? You certainly you'll watch the film and reevaluate and evaluate all the positions and things that you know did right, did, didn't do well. What, what do you kind of look at right now and say we got to sharpen this up? I thought we were running the ball a little bit better than we did today. Um, but this today again, this is the first day we've seen a three-four defense. Um, so we've been working against ourselves mostly. So um, I thought the kids at least competed. We got to stay on blocks a little bit longer, sustain our blocks, and stay on them. So that's the thing I got to work on the most. Well, and like most coaches, you don't show your hand in every scrimmage here. What are you looking for at a scrimmage too before your opener? What do you want to see? The thing, biggest thing I got to get the tempo going. I think we're a little too slow today. All right, so we got to speed the tempo up a little bit more, and then you just got to stay consistent. Fun, fast, and ferocious. The Bulldogs are ready for 2019. Thank you so much. Thank you.